Howdy everybody, it's your boy Wild Bill, and we are back with another Pokemon Let's Play. Um, this time we're doing Brilliant Diamond. Um, after we finish this, if you want me to go back, do Pearl, more than happy to do it. Anyway, let's get into it. Hello there. It's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. I guess I should give him a more uh, old manny deep voice. My name is Rawa. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Much lags. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Um, I should probably grab the controller. We are ah. Uh, your name is Wild Bill. Oh, of course. Okay, so you're Wild Bill. A fine name that is. Oh, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Now, this boy here, I believe he's your friend. What might his name be? Uh, Marcus. I like that one. Yeah. All right, Wild Bill, the time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless p p Pokemon and people. I cannot read today. Huh. Here we go. I'm sure that along the way you will discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Yeah, I think so. Now, go on and leap into the world of Pokemon. Okay. I can do that. Despite the exploration team's best efforts, the rare oddly colored Pokemon eluded detection. The rumored red Gyarados failed to appear, even fleetingly, to the crestfallen team. That is a massive TV. That concludes our special report. Search for the red Gyarados. Brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week. Same time and all that. <laughs> hey, look, a switch. Wow, Bill. Marcus came calling for you a little while ago. I don't know what it was about, but he said it was an emergency. Oh, wow. That, uh... That must be important. All right, let's go. Waddle. Oh, yes, Wild Bill, don't go into the tall grass while Pokemon might attack you. Oh, thank you, Mother. I appreciate it. It'll be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so... You know, that was kind of mean. I don't like that. You are a mean mother. Alright, 
Um, yeah, I think this is the house. Bunk. Or thud. Wasn't that the name of the, uh, the, the oldest son in the Croods? It's like thud or... Thunk. Thunk. That was it. Thunk. I guess I named him after the sound he made when he came out. Anyway. Oh, hey, Wild Bill. I'm going to the lake. You should come, too. Be quick about it. Okay, Wild Bill. I'm finding you one million Pokemon dollars if you're late. Oh, jeez. Forgot something. Yeah, um. Probably don't need to forget none. You know? Probably wouldn't be good. Hi, Marcus's mom. I better take my bag and guidebook, too. Oh, hey, Wild Bill. We're going to the lake. I'll be waiting on the road. It's a 10 million dollar fine if you're late. Dude, you are going... You are at zero somewhere. All right. Now that I know how to operate stairs. <clears throat> do, do, do. I want to give a warm welcome to everyone watching, by the way. I really appreciate it. Anyway. You know the search for a Gyarados, the mysterious person of the lake. That's a lot of words. That got me to thinking. I'll bet our local lake has a Pokemon like that in it too. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll go find a Pokemon like that. Hmm? Okay. I like the idea. Let's go. What game? Oh, it was, uh... Gold and silver, where you actually got to, like, catch it. Or at least I know you could do it in heart gold and soul silver. I don't know. Alright. To the lake. Let's find us a red Gyarados. And literally a shiny. What's going on? Professor. There isn't anything out of the ordinary on the other side, either. Hmm. I may have been mistaken. Something appears to be different than it was before, but... Fine. It's enough that we have seen the lake. Dawn, we're leaving. I'm glad they actually put Dawn in this. <clears throat> Professor... How are you enjoying being back in Sinnoh? After being away for four years, it must be exciting again. Hmm, there's one thing I can say. There are many rare kinds of Pokemon in Sinnoh. The regions should serve us very well in regard to our studies. He's a nice man. Excuse me, let us pass, please. I beg your pardon. We'll be on our way. What was that about? Those two? Huh? Well, Bill, let's go check this out. What's that? Don't go into the tall grass? No problem, no problem. We won't be in there long enough for wild Pokemon to come out. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's a briefcase? Most people forgot it here. What are we supposed to do with it? We can try to return it, but who were they? I heard them say Professor. Uh, angry Birdie! Angry Birdie! Look, these are Pokeballs. Let's battle using the Pokemon in them. Which one do you want then? Uh, don't. Uh, there he is. Is your boy Turtwig? Well, if I looks around like eh, me, oh, okay.
is your boy, Turtwig. Battle. Tackle. The Wild Star leaves Tackle. I'm so very glad these things don't know any flying type moves right off the bat. That would suck. Church Wigs attack fell. Your Pokemon gain experience points. Oh, your Turtwig totally rot! My Chimchar was way tougher than yours. They were other people's Pokemon. We had to use them. Those people won't mind, will they? I don't. Please don't be mad. Oh, there's the briefcase. The professor would have been furious if I'd lost it. Huh? Oh no! Did did you use the Pokemon that were in here? You did? Oh my gosh! The, what's the professor going to say? This is so not good. I'll take this briefcase for now. What was that about? I don't know what's going on. Well, Bill, let's get out of here. My Pokemon got hurt from that battle. If we get attacked by another Pokemon, we might be in trouble. Yeah. You know it's not your Pokemon yet. We team rocketed this. I know we have to go return these Pokemon. They're not ours. But I want to spend just a little more time with this little guy. Okay. Hi. Hey, it's those people. Is that old guy staring at us? Hmm. I heard from Don that you used our Pokemon. Let me see them, please. Hmm. Turtwig and Chimchar. Hmm, I see. That's how it is. Don, I'm going back to my lap. Um, uh, okay, Professor. Please wait for me. I think you should visit our lab later. Okay, see you. I will definitely visit later. What was all that craziness about? I mean, if he was angry, he could have just yelled at us or whatever. And didn't he want his Pokemon back? Wow, Bill, we should go home, too. What's up, dear? Wow, I can't believe that happened to you. Am I ever glad that both you and Marcus are unharmed? The professor you mentioned is most likely Professor Warwan of Sangam Town. I've heard that he is well known for his studies on Pokemon. I hear he's also quite intimidating. Well, but I think you need to visit him in Sangam Town. You need to properly explain why you had no choice but to use his Pokemon. Don't worry, I'm sure he'll understand. I mean, if he's so intimidating, why are you sending me? You're my man. Shouldn't you be fixing my mess ups? Because you're my ma'am? Guess not. Oh, I know. Bob, well, put these on. You received a pair of running shoes. Going to Sangam Town is like an adventure in itself, right? With those running shoes, you can get to faraway places much faster. Okay, let me read the instructions. Tilt the left stick firmly and dash it out faster than ever before. Okay. Put on the running shoes and play the insurance and Avenger. Well, isn't that just nifty? Oh. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm running. I'm so fast. Run, 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 run. Oh, yeah, am I still able to walk? Yeah, I am. Alright, I gotta go through the tall grass. Hey, yeah, catch a starly. I almost said Pidgey. <laughs> That's a wrong uh, game. Tackle. Turtwig, use tackle. <clears throat> I wonder how everybody's doing. Questions, comments, concerns. Turtwig used tackle. The wild starly fainted. <clears throat> do 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 I don't Oh, there you are. Please come with me. The professor is waiting. This is it, our Pokemon research lab. Let's go. What's good? What the? Oh, it's you, Wild Bill. That old guy, he's not scary so much as he is totally out there. That doesn't matter, Wild Bill. I'm out of here. See you later. Wow, what was that? Your friend sure seems to be really impatient. Well, anyway, let's go inside. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Finally, you come. Well, Bill, was it? Let me see that Pokemon again. Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. All right, then. I'll give you that Turtwig to you as a gift. Now that it's yours, would you like to give it a nickname? Hmm, sure. Why not? Uh, oh, I got it. Wild turtle. Wild bill, wild turtle. Hmm, okay, I see. And you're happy with that nickname? Your friend Marcus told me what happened at the lake. I heard you battle very well, despite it being your first time. And from what I can see, there's a growing bond between you and that Pokemon. Though it is still young. That's why I would like to entrust you with Turtwig. I'm so glad you're kind towards Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd have to... Oh, I just can't say it. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's move on to the main topic. There is something I want you to do for me. My name is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to record data on all the Pokemon in Sinnoh for me? Sure. I can do that. Hmm. Good answer. You obtained the Pokedex. That Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind, <coughs> every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Wild Bill, I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. Okay. I've got one too. 
When you walked up Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I've lived for 60 long years. Even now I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Now you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. This means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go. Wild Bill, your grand adventure begins right now. The Pokemon that I used for the first time was Pipla. That, that actually checks out. That's canon. <laughs> That's also partially the reason I chose Turtwig. Anyway. If you would have chosen Piplup at the lake, we'd have the same Pokemon now. Not that it matters, but anyways, I'm done. I also helped the professor add pages to the Pokedex. So in a sense, I'm just like you. I just got a little head start on you, that's all. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Wild Bill. Nice to meet you, too. Uh, run, 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 run. Okay, Wild Bill. Alex is your mentor. I've got a bit more experience than you as a trainer, and that's as the professor's assistant. Okay, follow me. Morning. This building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. It's the place that heals Pokemon that have been hurt in battle. You can find a Pokemon Center in most towns. The building with the blue roof over here is the Pokemart. It's a shop where you can buy and sell items and medicine. Well, Bill, since you're a novice trainer, you won't be able to buy many kinds of merchandise. Don't let it bother you. Oh, that's right, Wild Bill. Don't you need to let your family know you're going to be helping Professor Wan with the Pokedex? You may need to travel pretty far, so I think you should let someone know. Oh, but before you go, heal up your Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. It'll be a lot less scary that way, okay? Bye now! Alright. So if I remember right... It'll actually let you buy Pokeballs. Yeah. Oh, don't need that many. And that leaves math 38, 36. There we go. See, I can do math. I got smarticles. I'm not doing math. Alright. <clears throat> So definitely going to, hey, it's a bajoof. I'm going to catch you to fill out your Pokedex page. I think I might be able to catch you without weakening it, though. Let's see. Sure. Wild turtle learn leafage. Got wild bill, wild turtle. Gonna have a wild time. That sounds bad. I need to rephrase that. The nerves of steel, nothing can perturb it. It is more agile and active than it appears. Really? Nee. I want birdie. There he is. <clears throat> In a way, I guess it's not hard to 
catch to Pokemon on uh, this route. Awesome. I like catching Pokemon without fighting them. Because then if I need to, I can just turn around and use it. Starly's data will be added to the Pokedex. Okay. Would you like to give Starly a nickname? No. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, Shaboo. Meme. 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 Hi. I like Din Din. What's up, Wild Bill? Wow, Professor Awan asked you to do something that big? Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, I know. Wild well, Bill, I've got something that you'll find useful. You obtained the guidebook. Okay. Put the guidebook in the thing. That's a guidebook. Take a look at it when you are curious about something or have questions during your adventure. You may find an answer. Gee, a journey full of Pokemon full of adventure. I envy you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. I'm just joking, Wild Bill. I'll be alright by myself, dear. So you go and enjoy your adventure. When you're exposed to new things and experience new sensations, it makes your mother happy, too. But please come back sometimes. I would like to see the kinds of Pokemon you've caught, dear. Okay. She's looking for her Marcus. I think he joined up with the cog. Not gonna lie. Or is that a different guy? That'd be kind of cool. Marcus from Pokemon becomes Marcus Phoenix. <laughs> oh, really? You do that for me? Wild Bill, please take this to Marcus for me. You obtain the parcel. Bye. Bye bye, Wild Bill. Enjoy your adventure. Let me think. Knowing my boy, he would probably head straight to Jubilee City. Okay, please take that to my Marcus. Like I said, I think he joined up with the cog, but okay. Mom gave me a gentleman's cap. Alright, let's go. I wish I could take the hat off, though. Oh well. Gotta yeah, choose your battles. I'm just glad this isn't like Arceus where you have to catch like 50 of one Pokemon to complete the Pokedex entry for it, you know? That wasn't very fun. Took forever. Wild Starly fainted. Oh boy. Your Pokemon gained experience points. Sweet. You booted up the PC. We're gonna uh, excuse me. Access this one. We gonna put Badoof in the box. That is really cool. How it has the reflection under him? Like that is really awesome. Which PC should be accessed? No one's.
So I think in this one, if I remember right, all you have to do is see the Pokemon, and then it kind of records in the Pokedex. Which, I mean, is nice. But... Um, I couldn't remember if you spawn with a uh, fishing rod or not. I am forgetting all the controls. All right, that that's a thing. All right, cool. Wow, Bill, I haven't shown you how to catch a Pokemon. I'll demonstrate how to catch one, so just watch me, okay? Okay. Oh, boy. Why'd she giggle at me, though? Like, wh why? Actually, it's better to lower your, lower your target's HP more than I did. It's important to get the Pokemon's HP down as low as possible. A healthy Pokemon is very difficult to catch. Oh, Pokemon also get easier to catch if you make them sleep or something by using a Pokemon's move. Okay, well, Bill, to get you started, I'll give you some Pokeballs. You obtain Pokeballs. Just add it to the pile, sweetheart. If you have lots of Pokemon with you, it'll be safer on long trips. Plus, it'll be a lot more fun having your Pokemon friends along. Okay, I need to get going. Bye now. Bye. Do 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 do. Ape do do do. Hey, a cricket's hot. Leafage. It's not very effective. I'm actually debating on whether or not to catch it. Yeah, what's the harm? Krikatot's data will be added to the Pokedex. Shakes his head back to front, causing his antennae to hit each other and sound like a xylophone. 
That's kind of cool. Wow. Go wild turtle. Wow, Badoo fainted. Shrek. Oh, Taro grew to level 11. Starlet grew to level 3. We're doing so good right now. Here we go. <sighs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yawn like that. That is on me. You're challenged by youngster Tristan. Does he have a friend named Joey? That would be awesome. He should totally have a friend named Joey. Opposing Starly used quick attack. While Turtle used tackle. That's the thing about quick attack though, it does less damage, but you move first, so kind of evens out. I love that you don't need an EXP share in order to level up, excuse me, your Pokemon. Oh, wow. I spy my little eye. A trainer. Battle, please. <sighs> All right. She's going to be doof. A big old be doof. Leafage. Opposing Badoo fainted. Last night, I was about to say, Badoof, let's keep the current Pokemon. Leafage. Wow. Wasn't expecting that one, but I'll take it. You know, a little victory where you can. <clears throat> I should probably heal Churchwig, huh?
you know, bought potions, might as well use them, you know? Let's have a Pokemon battle. <laughs> I'm gonna win. I bet you won't. You were challenged by Youngster Logan. Youngster Logan sent out Shinx. Go, Wild Turtle. Leafage. Because I don't know if that thing has the ability static. I would rather not get paralyzed right now. Which, that could be a good question. Drop it in the comments. What is your favorite Pokemon from the Sinnoh region? Like, absolute favorite, right? I'll start. My personal favorite is Garchomp. Just because it's fast, it's a ground type, and a dragon type. All in one. You're like, wow. Wow. More Shinx. Can I have a Shinx? I need an electric type. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. Battle Tackle. Oh, wow, Cricket Tie, he's pound. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Wild Bill. Are you catching Pokemon? Um, I think you'd feel a lot safer if you were to catch some more. In Jibalef City, there's the trainer's school, which, well, you know. Well, Bill, you should visit it. You'll get some tips on Pokemon. Oh, yes, Marcus went to the trainer's school earlier. Okay, bye now. Bye. Bye bye. What's that? Tribalef City, City of Joy. Well, that's a nice place to be. I like that. Starly's level 5, so it should be able to handle itself. I need to find that. May I please trouble you for a battle? I guess. <laughs> You have to. She sent out a Badoo. Badoo! Starly used Quick Attack. That's the one that makes you too worried to eat berries, right? Oh no, Insomnia. Okay. Um, huh. 
I guess quick attack does the same damage as tackle. Oh, I forgot. It might know that. Or it might have that ability. That's okay. It'd be I. Certainly used quick attack. And push Agalaga. Your Pokemon gained experience points. Wow, Starly really leveled up. See, once it learns a flying type move, we're really going to be in business. And restore. Antidote. Luckily had one of those. Hey, look, a Starly. You see, this is good. Getting a little bit of training in. Sweet. All right, after this little fight, I'll go to the Pokemon Center, and then we'll continue on with this little story in Gambit. No, oh, dang. Oh, wow. I guess we're gonna fight her. I know I'm a weak looking trainer. However, I'm very strong at looking. Last Sarah sent out Badoof. Quick attack. It used defense curl. Tackle. What's that one move that some Pokemon can learn? It's like quick attack, but it's like way more powerful. Extreme speed. That's what it is. I do wonder if uh, Starly can learn, or like, Staravia or Staraptor can learn that. Cause that'd be cool. Using Bidoof, use Tackle. Yay. So what I took away from that is that in the right hands, 
The doof could really be a menace. I found a thing. See, with this, I'm really going to be exploring and looking for all the secrets, you know? A little bit of a secret time. A little bit of a secret adventure. So we're here to have fun, hang out. Yeah, I'm just sitting here playing Pokemon. go hi hey wild bill did you come to study too i went ahead and memorized everything that was up on the blackboard after all it's the trainer's job to avoid having their precious pokemon hurt in battle right so wild bill what brings you here you've got something for me you delivered the parcel so what's this score this is town map huh why are there two in here I like it a lot, but I don't need two. Here, Wild Bill, you take one. You obtained a town map. That's nice. Well, according to the town map, I guess Ourobor, Ouroburg City is where I should be going next. Ouroburg. Yeah, that's how you say that. There's a gym, so it'd be perfect for raising the Pokemon I just caught. Well, I'm on the road to becoming the greatest trainer of all time. See you around. Yeah, I get, yeah. Bye. Eh. Go through the door. Why you do everything except go through the door? You don't have a poke at yet. Oh, get you short for Pokemon Watch. Oh my, you are a rare case indeed. You see, I have been in and now manufacture Pokeches. Not only that, I'm now conducting the Pokeche promotional campaign. All you have to do is find three clowns in Jubilee City. If you can't find them, i give you your own Pokeche. Alright. You look like a clown. What? <laughs> I don't know. I think that sounded more like a boo. I love how, like, it has you get a essential part of the game while you're, um, While it also kind of teaches you about how to play. That's something I like that this game did. It's so very... What's the word I'm looking for? Convenient. I think that's a good word. Just like Pokemon, do the moves of Pokemon also have types? 
Yes. By the way, it's really good that they have it in questions. It makes you think, You're like, was I paying attention? I think so. Cool. Now I know this. All right, let's go get the little poke edge. Yep. Bravo, I say bravo. In return for these coupons, I present you with this Pokemon Watch, or Poke Edge for short. You received a Poke Edge. You can add apps to your Poke Edge to make it okay. I think as a boy, yeah, you get the blue one. And then the girl gives you a pink one. I forgot to go to the Pokemon Center. I was not ready. No, I wasn't ready. <clears throat> go, Starly. Quick attack. Who are you calling kid? We're the same age. Mm, yeah. Hey, no risk, no reward. Starly grew to level 9. It learned Wing Attack. Oh man, your Chimchar is done. Big ol' plate of Dunyan Rings. I honestly expected that to do more damage. Awesome. I do wonder now. Am I going to, like, go back to a Pokemon Center if both my Pokemon faint? Your Pokemon should have learned Ember by now. I wonder why he's not using it. Or am I dumb and it learns Ember later? The opposing Chimchar fainted. Well, it's her to learn growth. I hope it's a healthy growth. What just happened? I lost? Yeah, you did. Pretty bad, too. What do you mean I lost? Well, that's it. That's the last time I'll ever lose. I'm going to be the world's toughest trainer, and you know it. First thing to do is take on the Ouroburg Orib City Pokemon Gym. I'm going to toughen up for that, totally. You go. You go, bro. I'm going to go heal.
All right, let's go. I'm gonna try to avoid fighting so we can get to that next city. And I immediately walk into a fight. I'm thinking we're gonna go until we beat um the first gym that's what i should do i'm gonna try to do a gym every video yeah maybe two if i'm feeling real frisky the opposing but do fainted like big time faint Nice, Caitlyn is about to send out Starly. I'm gonna keep my current Pokemon. Battle. Wing attack. I love how those wings is just like boy. It boy. Keep current Pokemon. She sends out Badoo. Badoo. Wing attack. And push Jackalaga. Your Pokemon gained the XP points. You defeated last Caitlyn. So that's a, I've always thought that was a really pretty name, Caitlin. I like it. Oh wow, I should have saw that one coming. She sent out Starly. Starly Battle Wing Attack. I'm better than you. Keep current Pokemon. I love this wing attack. Oh no! Tackle. Just tackle. Anyway. Hello. Hmm, you're still a pretty new trainer, aren't you? That's all good. You're a new fellow friend of Pokemon. So let me make a gift of these technical machines for you. You obtain TM ninety eights. Sweet. Okay. Yeah, that's where you get hidden moves from. What's well, funny because Rock Smash is considered a technical move or technical machine. So it breaks when you use it, but it's unlimited when you use it in your poke edge. Shy Shy Shy. Pokemon, there we go, hidden moves. Which I thought was very nice. That I don't have to waste a move slot to use hidden moves. I like it. Okay. 
Camper Curtis sent out Shanks. Uh oh. I probably should have planned for that. Battle. Um. Yeah, when she's wing attack. That should still do. Joe, wow. That didn't hardly do anything. Opposing Shanks, he's Leer. I'm actually kind of hoping it doesn't have an electric type move. Opposing Shanks, he's Leer. He's lowering my defense for some reason. Shoop boop a doop. Bingo bongo. You defeated Camper Curtis. But a hat like that is probably wasn't hard. Hey, Zubat. Ooh, now I have decisions. Do I want... I, want, I will just, like, catch it. Make an executive decision later. You know... Zubat was caught. Like at the end, I could either have a Star Raptor or a Crobat. Anyway, we can fight her. Is that your boyfriend, like, right over there that I beat? Is so I'm sorry. Wing attack. Skidoosh. Picnic or Diana is about to send out Psyduck. I will switch my Pokemon to Wild Turtle. I think Psyduck is still a water type, so that will work out perfectly. Now Psyduck. Leafage. Nice. You defeated Picnic or Diana. Oh, no. Howdy, trainer. If you don't have a single gym badge, other trainers will look down on you like you're a total noob, right? So I'll show you where the town's Pokemon gym is. All right. Preach. Huh? There's someone there. Hey, what's up, bud? Huh? Oh, it's you, Wild Bill. You finally got here? You're slow like always. You're so slow, the gym leader's long gone now. 
said he had to go to, uh, oh yeah, to Oraberg Mine. I got my badge already, so it's no big deal to me, but... Yeah. Might be a little bit of a problem for me. So since I'm going to the mine, I will swap over my turtle. So he's the head of the party. The party. I wonder if that's how pirates said party. The party. Do, do, do. Well, like I said. Oh, well. Hi, Geodude. Battle. Leafage. There it is. Gee, dude, data will be added to the Pokedex. He's a human rush smash, carry the boulder blocking your way. Well, boulders need to be smashed so they're out of the way. If you could get the badge from the gym in town, you'd be able to do this too. Of course, you had to be the gym leader first. That'd be me. Okay. I think Turtwig should be fine. Being a grass type is pretty well off against rock types. Just gotta fight my way out of this place now. <laughs> leafage! Wow, oh, turtle used leafage. Wow, Geodude grew to level 8. Oh, hey, an onyx. Leafage.
used a Pokeball. Oh, wow. You used a Pokeball. There it is. Just had to weaken them a little bit. There we go. Onyx's data will be added to Pokedex. When it travels underground, it causes rumbling and tremors. It can move at 50 miles per hour. Nice. I think Geodude and Onyx are the only ones in the mine. I could be wrong, so don't quote me on that. Please. <laughs> I'd be standing in front of it. That's kind of dumb. Pokemon boxes were accessed. I do believe I should be fine. Because I think his Onyx is like level 16. And his Geodude's level 14. If and I remember right. But I could also just, even though there's a way around all of them, I could just go and fight his lackeys. Come back here, heal, and then take him down. Thinking about it, I uh, think that's what I'm going to do. Let me in the gym. So as you can see, normally, you just walk straight up to him, fight those two guys. I think that's a good idea. But you can also go the long way, zigzag, and just go to him. I'm going to fight the guys. Mainly because I needs the XP. I needs and wants it. You defeated youngster Jonathan. Only those who want to win can challenge Pokemon Gym. Okay. I will kick your booty. Go, wild turtle. Battle. Leafage. Wild turtle used leafage. Oh, so close to level 13. Oh, well. Oh, sweet. I will end this thing as level 13. Sweet. I love that it's just one hitting all of the things. Oh, he wants to learn Razor Leaf now? Bet. 
Does a little bit more damage than leafage. Um, I'm sure it'll be fine. Because 95% accuracy is still pretty good. I'm a heal. That way we go in with full HP. Anyway, let's do this. Gym battle. So gym leaders are always really strong for no reason at all. So, I don't know. Let's see. I feel like I can do this first try. I feel it in my bones, my wild, wild bones. Yo, wild turtle. Oh, wow. Okay. Gee, dude, we just roll out. And leafage. Easy money. I will switch. Uh, actually, no, I won't. He sent out Onyx. Wait, he has... Oh, I remember what his third Pokemon was. It's a pain in the booty to fight. Hey, this is good, though. He's using all his potions on Onyx. So I shall not complain too much. Now I remember why this gym was so hard originally. Hey, level 14 though. Doing pretty good. Uh, no. If I need to heal, I'll just use a potion. He sent out Kranidos. Battle. Razor Leaf. And then leafage. And there we go. First gym taken down. First try. Let's go. Starly wants to learn the move double team. Sure, why not? Let's get rid of Growl. I love that it has the ability Keen Eye. So it can't lose accuracy. <laughs> you defeated the gym leader, Roark. What? It can't be. My buffed up Pokemon. I honestly thought they were like 14 and 16. I went and lost her trainer and didn't have a single gym badge. That's the story. You were strong and I was weak. That's all there is. According to Pokemon League rules, I have to give you our gym badge since you've beaten me. The gym leader. Here's your official Pokemon League cold badge. Sweet. 
he received the cold badge from Roark. Having that cold badge means you can now use the hidden move Rock Smash from your Poke Edge. You should also take these too. TM76. Which one is that one? That is Stealth Rock. And these are stickers I use. Here, take some. Incidentally, a TM will teach its move to a Pokemon instantly, but a TM will break when you use it. So be certain you want a Pokemon to learn that move. Okay. Well, like I said, um, I'm going to do one badge of video so I can really just kind of take my time I enjoy this game with all of you. Anyway, we got our badge, so that will do it for this video. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, check out Texas Valkyrie Shop and Luna's Den by Ash, both on Etsy, both really cool shops. Um, anyway, stay well, stay free, and I will see you in the next one.